can deaf and disabled people, organisations, uh, what can they put in place and what should they do for the next uh, shadow report? Okay. Thanks, thanks um, very much, Latoya. F first, I will answer this question. I just wanted to add a little bit to what you said about this project um, at the beginning of this meeting. So we are um, really excited uh, that we will be doing this work because uh, we believe that disabled people and our organizations should be at the driving seat when it comes to monitoring the progress that our government has made in implementing UN Convention on Rights of Disabled People. Um, we, as a movement, have done a lot to use convention to hold government to account. But of course, we can't stop um, and we will continue. Um, we, this time, want to make sure we reach out and hear from um, disabled people from different backgrounds with different experiences. Um, and so um, we can give UN committee um, comprehensive and accurate information about what is happening uh, we will be focusing on England, but of course we will be working together with um, our partners in devolved nations to produce reports that will cover all the UK. So um, today we're launching our call for evidence and um, the work that we'll be doing will have different strands to it. Firstly, we partnered with many organizations across England, many deaf and disabled people's organizations across England. And they will be holding events where they will talk about convention to make sure more disabled people understand the convention, what it is and how we can use it. And then they will discuss with their members the progress that was made since 2017. Um, one way to get involved is to take part in those events and uh, we're sure our partners will put access arrangements in place to make sure as many people can uh, participate as possible. Another way to get involved is to respond to our call for evidence. So we are uh, asking disabled people, DPOs um, and allies like disability charities, human rights and equality organizations, academics interested in this subject to send us information which you think is relevant to how our government is doing to implement its obligations under UN Convention and to implement recommendations that UN Disability Committee issued in um, 2017, but also inquiry recommendations, which Linda was talking about just a few minutes ago. So it could be um, information just about specific article, or it could be about several articles. You choose how, what you send to us. You need to remember that we will publish all evidence that we receive and um, we need to make sure information that we give to the committee is well evidenced. So um, when you send us information, please tell us where you got it from, what's the source. Um, of course, as, as we heard today from Gertrude and others, that committee is really interested to hear lived experiences of disabled people. So we also welcome just uh, people telling us about their experiences. Um, and um, you can uh, do this by sending us an email. Um, our email is crdp 
at inclusionlondon.org.uk or you can also um, send it to us on WhatsApp. So we have all this information on our website, which is www.inclusionlondon.org.uk slash CRDP. So we will put all this information um, in comments and everyone will be able to see it. Um, so these are the ways to share your um, information with us. Uh, this call for evidence will be open until 22nd of November. And um, also as a third part of this work, we will be doing some specific work to reach out to disabled people who we don't often hear from. Um, and we again partnered with different organizations who represent those people to do this. I have another question for you. What will you do with the information that's provided? Um, so we will, um, obviously we um, really appreciate people taking time to send us information and we know it's really important. Um, firstly, of course, we will read everything, we will analyze everything. And as I said, we will publish everything we get. And um, then we will uh, analyze information that we receive and we will um, try and come up with list of priorities based on information that we receive. Then we will also check in back with DPOs and disabled people, whether we're on the right track, because we will launch a short survey um, at the end of November, just to make sure that we are getting priorities right. And then um, from that, we will use information that we receive to write a report. Of course, uh, uh, those who have done it know, and those who haven't um, will find out that our word limit is very limited. Our report can't be very long because committee, UN committee has many countries to look at. So uh, we will not include everything we get in the report, but we try and do best job to reflect priorities that matter to disabled people. So I think maybe um, it would be good if I uh, repeat again um, our website where everyone can find information. So it's inclusionlondon.org.uk then slash UNCRDP. And then email where you can send information to is crdp at inclusionlondon.org.uk. And um, we said that uh, if people wanted to send BSL videos, um, via WhatsApp, uh, they could also use the number, uh, WhatsApp number, which is 07561064227. We really look forward to receiving information and you will find list of events that will be held on our website. Oh, I wanted to say thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Svetlana, and thank you everyone for watching. And now I'm going to hand over to Martha. Thank you. Thank you so much, Latoya, and to everyone that's contributed tonight. Another reminder to make sure that you check out the list of consultation events on the Inclusion London website. That link again is www.inclusionlondon.org.uk forward slash UNCRDP. It's been brilliant 
to chair tonight and a real privilege. Thank you everyone for joining and have a good rest of your evening. Bye-bye.